Well, the U.S. Census is taken every 10 years, and the government uses that data to decide things like how to distribute money, lay out legislative lines, and to just get a better understanding of who we are. If it's our ages, our ethnicities, our incomes, our genders, all that kind of stuff gets collected. And so while the last census was in 2020, as we know, a lot can change in a little amount of time, which is why every so often the Census Bureau releases new estimates based on new information. And what they see when it comes to Idaho, well, is more than 100,000 have taken up residence in the gem state since 2020, putting us at about more than 1.9 million people in Idaho. We'll likely break that 2 million barrier by the end of this year. But Boise is actually losing people for the second year in a row, dropping from an estimate of 238,000 in 2021 to 235,000 in 2023. It looks like they're going to other places in Ada County, like CUNA, which jumped by 4,000, or Star, which grew more than 5,000 over that same time period, and Meridian, which has ballooned more than 15,000 in three years. Nampa also seeing a jump, with nearly 13,000 more calling themselves Nampans than did in 2020, or Nampons, I think. How much of this increase in population in cities outside Boise is directly related to the shrinking population of Idaho's capital city? And why is Boise losing ground when it comes to people inhabiting its ground? Andrew Bartline took those questions to some of the people still living in the city of trees. If it's a city for everyone, then what's a young adult to think? when the market prices you out. Yeah. Kim Philly's from a long line of Idahoans. The things are so enriching. That's her mom. Yeah, and it makes me want to come downtown Sue. all the time just to look at those places. While the matriarch claims Garden City. I do sense that there's even more growth going out in that direction. The offspring sprung. And I'm at the University of Houston in Texas. Upon homecoming, this is new. she found Boise to be a city for everyone who could afford it. It goes back to housing. Um, I am a little freaked out by how expensive this place is. It's a problem known to city leaders and addressed Thursday at Mayor McLean's State of the City address. That we are friendly for business and that we support opportunities for all of our residents to build healthy, stable lives. Mayor McLean announced a $15 million investment to create a new supportive housing fund. It should create 230 supportive housing units for the most vulnerable populations. It's just a dent in the city's overall goal to build 27,000 total units by 2031. You know, affordable living is... Boise's Anthony's home. ...is a sticky topic, but really important to kind of pay attention to. He's lived in the capital city since 2016, and census data suggesting a shrinking city doesn't sit right. I, I really don't think it's the reality from my experience. Obviously, you can't get the cart before the horse, but I'd love to see the city grow up big. I remember when it seemed sleepy. But the city concedes it is losing population, and you don't have to look far to find them. The traffic and congestion feels so much worse to me going out towards the suburbs, um, from Garden City through Eagle, Meridian, Nampa, Caldwell. But it still doesn't feel like Boise's anything but booming. I keep seeing more and more people uh, everywhere I go. And her daughter? But I can't sense that Boise is shrinking in any way. They see each other? Because I'm frequently leaving Boise. Only on occasion. You know, I think you lose something in a community when the people that love the community and work in the community can't afford to live there. Because a city without its people is just a chunk of land. We count on one another. And more Boiseans are now counting on somewhere else. Affordable housing is everything. The city of Boise knows about this census data going back a few years. It's about a two year trend now. They say the city's not sure what is the main reason behind that population shift. And they add, quote, we are committed to understanding and addressing the needs of our residents, especially when it comes to creating more housing that meets Boise budgets, investing in child care, transportation and parks and creating recruiting, I should say, high quality jobs for our city. That is a very good synopsis of what yeah. we heard at the State of the City last night, Brian. Yeah, exactly. And it, it all comes back to that affording to be able to, to be able to afford to live here because maybe we're losing population, but that money keeps coming in. People with more money moving into that can't afford it, and those prices are still staying up there. So people who, you know, are getting pushed out that can't, obviously. Yeah, or people that live in a Meridian but work in Boise right. still doing that commute. So And so that's why she says it seems like there's yeah. a lot of people still here, but they're just driving here. Yeah, exactly. I think that might be a big part of it, too, that the actual functional city, what you see socially, yeah. probably doesn't feel like it's getting smaller at all. No, just spreading out a little bit. All right, thanks, Andrew.